Hey, what's going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video And guys today what I have for you is some leaked information from Mutthead. This is coming from the Mutthead forums guys uh, We have information regarding the golden tickets and how they're able to be built this year for Madden 16 So I want you guys to take a look at the pictures that we're going to be popping up here on the screen First one here is kind of the intro. So this is going to say something about basically, you know, welcome, congratulations, you've been chosen as one of the lucky winners to win a golden ticket, yada, yada, yada. There is some blacked out information on this on this document. Um, what the guy said is that it's there to basically prevent people from stealing. Um, I don't know if there's like sensitive information in there or, you know, like something to claim it. Or I, I don't know exactly why some of this stuff is blacked out. But uh, he said it's there to prevent people from stealing it. So whatever that means, I don't know. But the very first thing, obviously, guys, is that you get to choose the card. So you're going to get to choose the name of the player, the position of the player, and the version of an existing player. That's very important because a lot of people have this idea that when you win a golden ticket that you just get to make any card in the whole wide world. You get to make a, um, you know, a Randy Moss wide receiver or uh, you get to make a Calvin Johnson linebacker card. And it's like, no, unfortunately, those cards didn't exist in Madden 16, so you don't get to make a golden ticket of them. However, what's important here is that you do get to choose the addition of the card. So there are a lot of players, obviously, in this game, most of the players that would be, uh, you know, in consideration for golden tickets have multiple versions of their card. So you can choose, you know, a, a Cam Newton team of the week or, uh, you know, something like that, or else you can choose a different version of a Cam Newton if you wanted to make him. So it's just like in previous years, uh, the rules as far as what players can be created, as far as I understand it, are exactly the same as they have been in previous years. Now, number two has some information that's kind of interesting because I don't think this is quite the same as it has been in previous years. Somebody who pulled a golden ticket in previous years maybe can, uh, you know, respond to this and say if it was the same or not. But right now, you only get to choose two of the five base attributes. So these things are speed, agility, acceleration, strength, and awareness. Th these things can be improved on every single card. Now, there are also going to be uh, specific items that you can, or attributes, excuse me, that you can improve depending on the position of the player that you're, that you're uh, doing a golden ticket on. And we'll get into that in the next section here. But I do think this is kind of interesting because you're actually only able to upgrade two of these things, like I said, and things like jumping are actually not on here like they were in previous years. So that's a little bit interesting, a little bit different than it was in previous years. Uh, but again, there are also position-specific attributes that you'll get to upgrade as well. And uh, right now, we'll go ahead and take a look at those. So right here, guys, you're going to see these are the offensive players. And you can choose any of these to be upgraded. Now, what's interesting here, in my opinion, is that offensive linemen are not even on here. Now, I don't think we've ever seen an offensive lineman golden ticket, and I can't imagine that anyone would want to make an offensive lineman golden ticket. The closest thing that we've ever seen is a tight end, Donald Penn, and I don't think that we've seen anything else like that. But... Um, you know, things like your run blocking, your pass blocking, and all that kind of stuff, they are not eligible to be upgraded, apparently. We can't do offensive linemen. So you can only do quarterback, running back, wide receiver, or tight end for offense. Kind of interesting. Now, for quarterback, there are some interesting things, I think, because, yeah, you can improve all of these elements like throw power, throw accuracy, uh, which, by the way, I think it's kind of funny. You can see it on here. There is, for some reason, throw accuracy included. Now, EA themselves has come out and said that the actual throw accuracy attribute, not the one that's accuracy deep, mid, or short, because that one does, does matter, they've actually said that throw accuracy is only relevant when you're simulating. So I don't know why anyone would choose to upgrade throw accuracy. If you're making a golden ticket and you're making a quarterback, do not choose to upgrade throw accuracy. You're throwing away a, uh, a potential thing that you could use on something else, like throw on the run or carrying or whatever, things like that. Uh, another thing that I've heard, guys, for quarterbacks that might, might be a little bit interesting is that the most recent patch actually made it so that quarterbacks fumble a little bit more often. So you might want to consider upgrading carrying a little bit. Now, another thing that you're going to see here that's kind of interesting is that it doesn't say how many of each attribute you get to upgrade. So like, for example, if you choose throw power, for example, it doesn't say you get to make it a 99 automatically or a 100 or whatever it might be. It just says you get to upgrade throw power. So that's kind of interesting to me. 
Uh, right now, we don't really have any players that have super high attributes, so everything I think would get maxed out at like 105 or so. Uh, I don't think any player currently that I can think of has a 105 for any attribute, so it shouldn't be an issue getting them to 105 if that's something that you want to do, but uh, I think it's kind of throwing that uh, attribute away to be honest with you I don't really know that there are many things where you would need more than a 100 or even more than a 99 but anyway I mean you can choose whatever you want to do regarding those things but continuing on uh, you've got running backs here obviously you've got wide receivers uh, tight ends a couple things that I found to be a little bit interesting is that you can't upgrade your wide receivers run blocking attribute which I don't know necessarily that people would want to do that, but um, it is something that I would personally consider doing because I think blocking with your wide receivers can be such a huge advantage in this game, um, and really in any Madden, not just in Madden 16. I think it's I think it's an underrated attribute for wide receivers, and it's definitely something that I try to look for. So it's a little bit disappointing to me that you can't upgrade those things. But uh, you know, you've got like jumping here is upgradable here for wide receivers. It's not upgradable for many of the other positions. We'll see a couple other. Other ones where it is upgradable, but um, you know, for running backs, for for tight ends, you can't upgrade jumping. So that's a little bit unfortunate if you're somebody that likes to throw to your running backs or tight ends. So uh, with that said, those are the offensive players. Let's go ahead here and take a look at the defensive players. Um, again, guys. You can't do anything with uh, kickers or punters, so it's only offensive and defensive players. Thankfully, you can upgrade defensive linemen. It sounds like you can make a golden ticket of defensive linemen, so that's good. Um, I didn't really notice a whole lot here that really caught me off guard. Maybe you guys can let me know if you see anything in the comments se section below. Uh, let me know if there's an attribute on here that you think is missing for one of these defensive players. I kind of think they pretty much covered everything. I wish linebackers had jumping again. Um, but, you know, I think that's kind of like a, a little bit nitpicky. Linebackers are typically not known for their jumping attributes. But if you're somebody that likes to use your middle linebacker like I do, I do wish that jumping was something that I could upgrade. So maybe they'll change that if we tweet them enough or I don't know. But um, either way, that was the only other thing that I really noticed on the defensive side of the ball that I thought was a little bit off. But uh, so there you go, guys. That is the defensive side of the football for golden tickets. So you can upgrade all of these attributes. Now, um, moving on, I did also want to talk a little bit about some of the other stuff that you can do here with these cards, it does allow you to change the chemistries of the players as well. So that's kind of interesting. In previous ones, I thought, and I could be wrong on this, but I thought that you had to keep the chemistries that the card originally had. So like if you chose, like I said before, a team of the week, Cam Newton or something like that, and it already had, let's say, a uh, long pass and a ground and pound uh, um, for its chemistries, you had to stick with those. That's what I thought, but that could be wrong. Uh, that might have just been my memory being incorrect. But either way, you do get to choose uh, your chemistry. So if it's an offensive player, obviously you only get to choose offensive chemistries. Defensive player, you only get to choose defensive chemistries. But uh, it is nice to note that you get to choose whatever ones that you want for whatever that's worth. I know um, some people have a varying opinion on whether those things are even going to matter whatsoever. But, um, you know, again, like I said, it's, it's just a nice thing to be able to choose anyway. So uh, the next thing here is that you can also decide the card art that you want as well. So, um, you know, obviously there's various different card arts throughout the year. My personal favorite is probably the most feared this year, at least that I've seen. Positional heroes also look really cool. Ultimate legends look really cool as well. Uh, so, I mean, you could definitely choose the the players that you, you know, the, the card art style that you want for the player that you have, which is definitely cool as well. So, um, yeah, anyway, and, and what's also really cool too, is that even if you choose the, the one, let's say you chose an ultimate legend card and you wanted to upgrade that, you could still make it look like a, a Super Bowl card. For example, you don't have to keep the same card art. So that's definitely cool as well. Uh, and then last guys, the la very last thing on here, this is all blacked out. But I did also just want to throw it on here because it was included in the document. I have no idea what number six says. Um, number seven, it's just kind of like maybe asking for feedback or something like that on the golden ticket promo. I can't really tell what that even means, but um, it was included on there. So I didn't want to leave any information out. Now, uh, the final thing that I did want to talk about, I don't think I mentioned it before. Uh, the rarity of the cards is actually, this is going back to number one, obviously. Um, the rarity of the cards right there in the red text is actually determined by EA this year. So this is a big difference from in previous years because in past years, I think every other year that they've had golden tickets, 
you got to choose how rare the card was, or at least to some extent. You know, it, it, you could choose if you wanted it to be uh, limited to 50, to 100, to 200, I think. You know, various different things like that. And uh, I think in, even in past years, like maybe in Madden 13 and, and possibly even in Madden 25, I'm trying to remember, but um, I, I think that you could even limit it to as few as three. So, you know, you could choose the rarity and see, you know, if other people even had access to potentially getting the card. But um, again, it is kind of interesting that EA went back to actually controlling the rarity of the cards because... I don't know. I, I think maybe they'll just make them all across the board the same rarity. I think they did have a couple last year, if I remember correctly, that were only 24-hour cards. So, like, there might have been an unlimited number of them, but it was only in packs for 24 hours, whereas uh, some of the other ones were limited to, I think, 50 or even 100. So, um, we'll see what happens as far as that goes. I'm not exactly sure what, what's going to happen as far as the number of them. But again, I do think it's important to note that EA does have the final control over over how many of each of these cards will be made. So uh, guys, again, with that being said, that is going to wrap up this video. Hopefully you guys learned some good information. Um, if you did learn anything or if you have any questions, be sure to drop those below. I would uh, I will try to answer them. I don't have any great information, but uh, maybe I can get in contact with the guy who actually posted this. Um, just to give credit where credit is due, the person who posted this on Mutthead is GameTime89, and uh, he actually posted it on behalf of, um, let's see here, Gamertag is flex1515 and he was the actual person who pulled the golden ticket and provided this information for us so thanks again to flex1515 thanks again to game time 89 for this information and uh, again guys Hopefully, you guys are going to have good luck pulling these golden tickets because I think there's going to be some great stuff. What I'm going to do here in the next day or two is actually give you guys my breakdown on the players that I would create if I got a golden ticket. Maybe I'll give you guys a top five list, uh, but I want to hear from you guys. What cards would you create? Because keep in mind, pretty much what has happened in previous years is that regardless of how low the overall of the previous card was, it got boosted up to a 99. So we saw like Dennis Pitta in the bat in the past. We saw a, uh, like I said before, um, a Donald Penn that was like, I want to say it was like 70 overall or something like that. It was like a silver card when they upgraded. I think that was the one BU Tweezy created and it went up to a 99. So I think that's going to be what happens. I think all the golden tickets are again going to be a 99 overall. So if you have a card like a Rashad Perriman or something like that that you want to see boosted up, it could go all the way from a 73 or whatever he is overall right now all the way up to a 99 overall. So that could make him extremely overpowered. So with that being said, guys, that is going to wrap up the video. Thank you again. Drop a like on it if you enjoyed it and you want to see more information like this. Thanks again, guys, and I'll talk to you again soon.